welcome back to the channel guys today we're gonna talk about five different ways a musician can start making revenue some sort of revenue uh, for themselves through music i know in every musician's life there comes a point where they don't know what to do with the music the music is there uh, they're having some streams they're having some success with their music but they still don't know how to create uh, revenue for themselves i know some of you also make music uh, and I know some of you earn a significant amount of money through your streams or uh, through some sales or through some live shows. But uh, let me tell you, that is not the only way to generate revenue as an artist. There are quite a few ways where you can invest some of your time and then get some significant returns in the future for it. For example, number one, the first way we're going to talk about how a musician can earn some uh, revenue from their music is the catalog of the music itself and having a good catalog goes really far i know we are tempted to make some meme music or some music that that is just for the moment and that speaks to the artistic integrity of a person what type of music they want to create however if your music is timeless and it gets people in the future just moving to it let me tell you, your catalog of music is an investment in, in itself. I know I have one, one of my songs uh, still brings in like around $200 a month uh, just from the streams itself. And on top of um, streams, let me tell you about this thing called publishing, where you can basically get a revenue from your music as a songwriter, where you know how much streams uh, you're getting on a song. Well, let me put it this way. If you know how much uh, your songs are streaming, for example, there's a number count on the Spotify uh, app or you can go into your Apple Music Artist or Spotify for Artists and get the exact number of how many times your music is being streamed. However, if you worked on some other songs or you helped some other artists make their own songs, you don't exactly get the data for it and you don't. And sometimes it's hard to keep track of all this data um, that you've done for other artists. So you don't know how much streams they're getting and how much uh, you don't know what amount you should be paid. So uh, that this is a really good way if you sign up for a publishing service. I know there are a few publishing uh, there are a few publishing services that would collect the revenue for you. And they don't even take a lot of uh, percentage. I guess if you pay a flat fee for them, they, they give you the whole amount, I think. Uh, these days, it's hard to come across that. But back in the day, you know. Second way to earn music as an artist is to have a beat store. And I know we are mainly talking about artists who write their own music, perform their own music. Why should you have a beat store? Well, maybe it's not for you, but producers it brings in significant amount of revenue just from having a beat store. And uh, even if you're an artist, having some kind of uh, pack or having a sound collection that people can use in your music later on and just having it for sale, sound effects, uh, some guitar strings, some sounds you created, some lyrics you wrote. To have a beat store is not only about beats. It means that you should make yourself available to be present in other people's music. I don't know if it makes sense. A few months ago, I made this beat pack and just put it up on my website. It had some vocal effects that I myself did it, right? The whole beat pack wasn't that great. I would admit it. Uh, the sounds were kind of mid, um, but one of those sounds was my vocal effects and some people were actually interested to purchase the vocal effect and I get publishing from that just because of the small vocal effect. So it is really essential for uh, someone who's working as an artist full time to just have some type of sound store or like a beat store for themselves or website or maybe a beat stars account. It is really essential and it helps you a lot. The third way a musician can start earning revenue is by licensing and sync deals. Now, there's a lot of stigma around sync deals and licensing deals just because of so many TikTok videos. There is a lot of fake information about this. And this is one of those opportunities you just, it's very rare to come across. However, if you're working in a field where you do a lot of background sounds or you are really or you are really talented because you are really uh, into sound designing or you are working in a sphere which does vocal effects or mixing it is really it is a really good opportunity to get into sync deals and licensing 
although those opportunities are rare to come across, those opportunities bring in the amount of money that you don't even get in an entire year. For example, I know one of the musicians I worked with, uh, a few years ago, BMW had this uh, new car coming out, right? Uh, they approached this media agency, which he was a part of, like he was one of, uh, on the roster of the media agency. And uh, the media agency basically put out an ad across all their platforms saying that they need a sound for when the door opens. You know, uh, you know when you open the door of a BMW, there's a sound. So this musician that I worked with back in the day, a few years ago, he managed to make this short sound of four, four seconds, not even a lot, right? Four seconds. He got picked by BMW. His sound is in millions of cars right now. And he managed to earn $40,000 from a four second clip. So licensing and sync deals not only work for movies, it can go for advertising, car companies, your local elevator company or your local sto uh, store if they need a door um, sound. Like there is so much opportunities in this sphere. Although it is hard to come across, this is by far the only way that brings significant amount of uh, revenue to an artist. Of course, if you're Taylor Swift or any of those big A-list celebrities, you earn a lot of music through, through touring. But for a normal musician such as myself, this is the best way to earn money as a, music, as a musician. The fourth way. Now, let's see. The fourth way a person can start earning a revenue in music is actually through teaching and having workshops around you. I don't know how to put this. You can you can share your knowledge and be able to earn revenue from it. It is exactly what I'm doing right now. It is me sharing my knowledge to you fellow musicians and hoping to get something in return. Music works in investment formats. It is it's like there is no different be difference between a musician and a banker for example, right? Whatever you do as a musician, it is for the future. It is seeing your replay value, for example. If it is content for you, a replay value of the content, a replay value of the song. So teaching goes a long way because there is a replay value to your content and it keeps uh, bringing back people. Now, I'm not saying that your teaching format should be in the form of a YouTube video like me. No, teaching could be you are really talented in a, uh, at playing piano. You can go teach some kids how to play piano. You can, if you're really good at guitar, kids would love to learn guitar. Not even kids, fully grown adults. For example, I know how to play piano, but I would love to learn how to play a guitar. I, I have tiny hands. I never could play guitar. But if somebody can teach me how to play guitar for tiny hands, I would love to learn, right? So in this way, you can host small workshops in your community, build a community for yourself that would pay you to acquire your skills. Just remember, every skill us musicians have, even though if it seems low, it is pretty valuable for someone else. And for, for someone else, it is gold. So don't be scared to host some workshops and teaching events. Go for it. Now, the fifth and the final way well, I wouldn't call it final, but for this video, it's the final way a person can start earning revenue as a musician. And this is where most musicians go wrong, is they refuse to do session work for other musicians because they think they would be better as a solo artist or the lead artist. Musicians tend to have, uh, musicians tend to have a level of ego. Let's accept the fact. If you're a musician and you if you can just lower, lower your ego for a bit and just be ready to work as a session engineer, session player, or even as a ghostwriter for someone, it goes a far way. It takes you a long, long, long way. I have this very good example when it comes to this. When Drake was 19 years old, Dr. Dre invited him to do the infamous Detox album. And as you guys know, the Detox album never came out. However, Drake had one of those songs on the album and you should really go listen to the reference mix for this, right? You can see he what he was destined to be just by the demo song. So don't be afraid afraid to do session work for other people because you are musicians, like you need to make it anyhow, you know? So 
session works is very very valuable and uh, just show up to your local studio ask for some time if not ask for a job you know or if not just stay outside and just hope for the best like somebody will offer you a job or you can contact through social media you could text people uh, that you're interested in working for their um Uh, studios or any artists who, who walk inside you can hand them a business card or whatever your style is don't be afraid to put yourself out there all right let's wrap it up for today i know there is there are a lot of ways to earn revenue as a musician and this is not the only five ways you can start earning revenue i hope you guys found some value in this video and hope that you guys use this knowledge and apply it into your own life and hope that you put yourself out there musicians tend to not put themselves out there so if you can put yourself out there in the real world you can be really valuable not only for yourself but for your music as well and create some real real money with this all right that's it for today uh if you like the video please leave a like and subscribe to this channel if you you are a young artist such as myself uh just getting in the game just want to learn about the music industry about artistry uh i think you'll find a lot of value in this channel All right, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.